Good morning. This is Suffrages from the morning of the 6th of November. A reading from Amos, the third chapter. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel, against the whole family that I brought up out of the land of Egypt. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your, all your iniquities. Do two walk together unless they have made an appointment? Does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den if it has caught nothing? Does a bird fall into a snare on the earth when there is no trap for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground when it has taken nothing? Is a trumpet blown in a city and the people are not afraid? Does disaster befall a city unless the Lord has done it? Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. The lion has roared. Who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Proclaim to the strongholds in Ashdod and to the strongholds in the land of Egypt and say, Assemble yourselves on Mount Samaria and see what great tumults are within it and what oppressions are in its midst. They do not know how to do right, says the Lord, those who store up violence and robbery in their strongholds. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, an adversary shall surround the land and strip you of your defense, and your strongholds shall be plundered. Thus says the Lord, as the shepherd rescues from the mouth of the lion two legs or a piece of an ear, so shall the people of Israel who live in Samaria be rescued with the corner of a couch and part of a bed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Desert mother, Ama Theodora, said, There was a monk who, because of the great number of his temptations, said, I will go away from here. As he was putting on his sandals, he saw another man who was also putting on his sandals. And this other monk said to him, Is it on my account that you are going away? Because I go before you, wherever you are going. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. You redeem my life from the grave and crown me with mercy and steadfast love. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God of justice and love, 
you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need and awaken us to the needs of others. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, show us when the enemy we fear is to be found within ourselves. Equip us then with the sword of your word and the shield of faith, that we might stand our ground in this place where you have called us to dwell together in unity. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hand we recommend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always.